Hey, welcome back guys. New this morning, Denver police changing the way they'll be doing low level traffic stops, such as expired tags or, you know, a padiddle. Do you know what a padiddle is? What's a padiddle? When one of your headlights is out. Oh, do you remember that word? No, Yeah, kind of. I've had a padiddle. <laughs> well, it's part of a new policy that went into effect. Let's get right to Samantha Spitz with more on what's changing, how this all will work and kind of unfold. Samantha. Yeah, good morning, guys. So it really the main message here is, like you said, they're not going to be pulling drivers over for those minor traffic offenses. Really anything that's not a serious, that doesn't pose a serious threat to public safety. And now police tells the reason for this is really so that they can prioritize those safety calls and their response time. This change comes after initial conversations with members of Denver City Council and Denver Police Chief Ron Thomas. The team analyzed the impact of low level traffic stops on safety and crime reduction, and they looked to other studies across the country showing the effects of this on public trust. The goal here is not only to prioritize the enforcement of safety related traffic offenses and improve response times to other calls, like we said, but to also limit the adverse impact often associated with strict enforcement enforcement of low level offenses to improve public trust here within the community. Now, police say this policy is going to lead to more efficient use of their time, improve community relations and enhance officer safety. Now, officers will still take all traffic uh, related offenses very seriously, can still be pulled over for these minor traffic offenses that we mentioned, especially if you're pulled over for a more serious violation. In a couple of hours, we'll be talking to Denver Police Chief Ron Thomas a little bit more on this policy, how it's going to impact the community here, and we'll be sure to bring you more coverage on that. Reporting live in Denver, Smith Spitz, Fox 31. All right, thank you, Samantha. Big change could have a big impact as well.